Hi, my name is Daniel Blackburn, and in this lecture, I will tell you about how to measure soil organic matter by loss on ignition. All right, this is practical number four of the course SWAE for course 01, Water and Nutrient Cycling in Soil Plant Environment. So today, as I was telling you before, we were going to measure soil organic matter using loss on ignition. That means we're going to burn the soils, and then we're going to see how much is the percentage of weight that the soil lost when we burned it. Okay. Um, so how, how will we do that? Very simple, as it seems. So first of all, we have to dry the soil in the oven because uh, we cannot express this uh, loss on ignition on wet basis. We need to express this on dry basis. And um, so we leave the soils overnight in the oven at 105 Celsius. And uh, the next day we can proceed and burn the samples on a furnace. So when, when you dry the soils, you can of course calculate what is the moisture content by dividing the grams of water in the soil sample uh, by the dry weight of the soil. So how much water was lost on the sample divided by the dry weight of the soil will give you the moisture content on mass basis. Uh, of course, we, if we, we want to transform to volume basis, you have to multiply that by the bulk density. All right, but uh, the, this lecture is not about moisture, it's about organic matter. So how do we do it for uh, uh, loss on ignition? We will use the dry soil, uh, accurately measure, cool down dry soil, we will place them on a furnace. You know, this is the furnace set to 500 degrees Celsius, and we're gonna leave it on the furnace for three hours at 500 degrees. So this, um, the, the, the organic matter is completely burned on this sample. Um, after we finish this furnace uh, burning, we will take the samples, allow it to cool down in the desiccator, and then we will um, weigh the samples again and then compare the weight before and after burning. So in resume, we have that uh, the, you take the, the, the samples from the desiccators, reweigh them, place them on the furnace, um, heat the samples uh, to 500 degrees and uh, for three hours, and then uh, after allowing to cool down on the desiccator again, take the weight one more, once again. Yeah? And then you use this formula for the calculation of the loss on ignition. You know, use this formula for the calculation of the loss on ignition, which will be how much weight was lost during the, the burning of these samples and uh, what is dividing by the weight of the dry sample, yeah? the, the dry weight of the soil. That will give you, and if you multiply that by 100, it will give you the percentage uh, of dry weight from this sample. So uh, I will show you in Excel the calculations. Now. So now I'm going to show you how to do the calculations in Excel. So we have two soils here that we've used in this analysis, soil one and soil two. We have the soil, uh, the weight of the crucible. We have the weight of the crucible plus the moist soil. Uh, we have also the, the weight of the crucible plus the dry soil after uh, the, uh, drying in the oven overnight. Uh, we have the weight of the crucible after burn the, the crucible plus the soil after burning on the furnace for three hours at 500 degrees Celsius. So with these uh, uh, weights, we can now use these values to calculate the loss on ignition and moisture content. So moisture content in one soil one was very different from soil two. Soil one was very moist. Soil two was very, very dry. So this, this is why we have to uh, dry in the oven before we do these calculations of loss on ignition. So the, the, the moisture content, you already seen this before. You divide the weight of the, the, the water 
by the weight of the dry soil. So you subtract wet soil plus crucible minus dry soil plus crucible, and then you divide that by dry soil plus crucible minus crucible. And then you will uh, obtain the, the, the percentage of moisture. If you multiply that by 100, you will obtain the percentage of moisture. Now, loss on ignition, you will do a similar calculation. Now, instead of subtracting how much was lost in the oven, you will now subtract how much weight was lost in the furnace between the dry soil and the burnt soil. And then you can get, now, multiply that by 100, and then you will get the percentage of uh, matter that was lost during the ignition process. So for soil 1, was 0.47%. For soil 2, was 2.71%. Yeah? If you consider that you have, uh, you, you can make some assumptions about the soil. We will do this just for the sake of the exercise, but it doesn't mean that it has to be like this for all soils. Uh, our soils, we, we assume that they have 3% ash and 58% carbon. So by doing that, we can divide by 0 0.97 and then we will get the amount of soil organic matter in this system, which is fairly similar to what we had before. The error is not big because it's only 3% error. But uh, to do a good calculation, we, uh, let's use that we have, uh, the, the, consider also the ash content. Yeah? So soil organic matter in soil 1 would be 0 0.48, whereas in soil 2 will be 2.8%. Now, 50, considering that we have 58% of carbon, now if you multiply but that value by 0 0.58, you will have 0.28% of carbon in soil 1 and 1.62% of carbon in soil 2. And now we make a, uh, we're making a third assumption, which is the carbon to nitrogen ratio of 15 to 1. This, of course, can change soil by soil. It can be up to 30 or higher, uh, depending on the nature of the organic matter. But assuming that we have 15 to 1, this would mean that we have in soil 1 0.019% of nitrogen uh, uh, and in soil 2 0.1%. So it's nearly five times more nitrogen we will have in soil 2 than soil 1 only due to the fact that we have uh, more organic matter in these soils. So uh, the implications of having more organic matter uh, for nitrogen is very high. This is considering that the majority of the nitrogen in the soil, between 95 and 98% of the nitrogen, will be on the organic matter. So this is uh, one of the reasons that we have to care so much about uh, organic matter in soils is also because of nitrogen fertility. And this mineralization of the organic matter gives a, gives a slow supply of nitrogen to plants into our crops. So you will receive a spreadsheet uh, similar to this. You will be asked to make these calculations and write a report about your soils. And also we will give you replicates about, about each soil, not only one measurement, but a repl replicates of measurements for, different, uh, for the same soil. And you will be able to also uh, calculate uh, the, the ANOVA for these samples and, and see if the differences are statistically significant or not. Um, so this is all for this practical. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next lecture.